here. Could you start the recording, Pam? I think that you've done that. I did. I did start it. Yes. Oh, that is wonderful. Uh, Commissioner Kelsey uh, Rader uh, has told us that she'll be absent today. Pam, did you receive any other notifications? None. Okay. Just from Commissioner Rader. Okay. With that, Pam, would you please um, provide the roll call? Yes, I will. Uh, Commissioner Brankard, have you joined us? Commissioner Condelaria? Here. Good morning. Commissioner Dominguez? Present. Commissioner Fry? Here. Commissioner McWilliams? I see you. Uh, Commissioner Modi? Commissioner Patton? Here. Uh, I'll call Commissioner Rader, although we do know she, she called in absent. Um, <clears throat> Commissioner Thompson? I'm here. Commissioner Velasquez? I'm here. <clears throat> Commissioner Vigil? Here. Commissioner Zemlick? Let me let me go back and loop around. Is has Commissioner Branker joined us yet? Commissioner Zemlick, <clears throat> Vice Chair Cipher. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Commi uh, Vice Chair, you have a quorum. Wonderful. Thank you, Pam. Uh, so today we'll need the uh, approval of the january 10th agenda um could we anyone like to make a motion mr chair this is commissioner thompson i move that we approve the agenda thank you we have a second that's commissioner patton i'll second thank you commissioner patton uh, it, it looks like uh, Ms. McWilliams, you've been talking, but I think you're muted. So that I, I think that might be why you weren't recognized. But we have a first and a second. Uh, roll call, please, Pam. To approve the agenda. Uh, yeah. Commissioner, um, excuse me, Commissioner Brankert, have you joined us? Yes. And your vote for the agenda? Yes. Is yes. Okay, thank you. Commissioner Condelaria, how do you vote? Yes. Commissioner Dominguez? Yes. Commissioner Fry? Yes. Commissioner McWilliams? Okay. Uh, Commissioner Patton? I'm sorry, Commissioner Patton, I didn't hear your vote. Yes. Th thank you. Uh, Commissioner Thompson. Yes. Commissioner Velasquez. Yes. Commissioner Vigil. Yes. Commissioner Zemlick. Yes. Vice Chair Cipher. Yes. Motion to approve the agenda passes. Wonderful. So that takes us to item three, our minutes. Do we have any discussion on the minutes or corrections? Yes. Um, Mr. Vice Chair, I've got uh, one minor revision on the minutes. Uh, that would be on page two, line 42. Uh, the sentence starts with Chair Stringer called the meeting to order. And that needs to be revised to read Vice Chair Cipher called the meeting to order. You are right. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. And with that, I would uh, move that uh, minutes be approved as amended. 
before we ask for a second, or I guess let's get our second first, and then we'll ask if there's any other comments on the minutes. Second. Okay, thank you. So with the first and a second, were there any other comments as part of discussion that uh, anybody else had? Okay, with that, uh, uh, roll call, Pam. Okay, to approve the minutes as amended by Commissioner Dominguez. Commissioner Brankert, how do you vote? Yes. Commissioner Condelaria. Yes. Commissioner Dominguez. Yes. Commissioner Fry. Yes. Commissioner McWilliams. Yes. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Uh, Commissioner Patton. Yes. Uh, Commissioner Thompson. Yes. Commissioner Velasquez. Yes. Commissioner Vigil. I will abstain since I wasn't at that meeting. Thank you. Commissioner Zemlick. Yes. Vice Chair Cipher. Vice Chair. I, I think you're. Sorry, okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. The, the motion passes. Wonderful. Okay. So that brings us to item four on our agenda public comment. Pam, do we have any public comment? Uh, people that have checked in. No one has checked in to uh, to offer a general public comment this morning. Okay. Ms. Jones. Yes, sir. Lindsay Lovejoy here. I'm counsel for one of the parties appearing later on the agenda, but uh, at this point, so I don't omit something that could be done early. I suggest the absence of a quorum. We have certain people present whose terms expired at the end of last year, and they are not members anymore. So, Mr. Lovejoy, that item had uh, been discussed and addressed. Uh, perhaps, uh, Councillor um, see, excuse me one second. Sanchez would like to uh, address that. Thank you, uh, Mr. Vice Chair. Uh, Mr. Lovejoy, that, that question ha did come up uh, and we looked at it. We did a couple of things. We looked at uh, Article 5, Section 5 of the Constitution and also consulted with uh, the uh, director of boards and commissions with the governor's office. And the consensus is, um, and it's been a longstanding opinion of the governor's office, that uh, members, uh, sitting members of a commission or a board for that matter, continue to sit until they're, uh, even though their term may have expired, until they're either removed or replaced. Uh, the one exception, the caveat being those board or commission positions that require the consent of the Senate, which is not the case here. So we've looked at that and uh, we have uh, those members continue to serve again, again unless they, uh, they have been removed or replaced, or of course, if they simply decide not to do that anymore, if they resign from their uh, from their uh, office. Thank you. Let me just ask whether your discussions made any reference to the letters of appointment. Not specifically. Because they stay, say specifically that the term ends December 31, 2022. I, I think that what the governor's uh, has opined would still be true, uh, which is that even though the term of a sitting member of a board of commission has expired, which would reference your um, the letter of appointment or the the term in the letter of the expiration term in the letter of appointment, uh, that would still I think uh, allow that person to continue absent removal or replacement, uh, providing of course that that individual continue to. Uh, want to serve in that particular office. Well, I heard you say that the governor has an opinion, but I uh, suggest the governor's opinion is set forth in the letter of appointment. Uh, 
Well, I also would invite you to look at Article 5, Section 5 of the Constitution. I think that tracks uh, the opinion of uh, that has been communicated by the longstanding opinion that has been communicated by the governor's office. Well, no one wants a ruling more than I do, but it doesn't seem to me like we have a quorum. And I just want to leave that on the record. And uh, I guess you're going to proceed. Mr. Lovejoy, thank, thank you, you so Lovejoy. much for your comment today. Um, we, uh, I assume that as we follow our legal counsel, Mr. Sanchez, you're recommending that we move forward. Yes, that that is consistent. Moving forward is consistent with Article 5, Section 5 of the Mexico Constitution and the opinion of the governor's office and specifically the counsel for the governor's office. Um, I think Pam can uh, note for the record that she's communicated with uh, counsel for the governor's office and <clears throat> what I've articulated is uh, conforms entirely to the opinion of counsel for the governor. Pam, would you uh, please respond to that? Yes, uh, I confirm that I received email um, stating as counsel suggests. With that, we'll leave this matter and we'll move forward. Was there any other public comment uh, that uh, is, is desired to be voiced to this morning? Okay, hearing none, we will move to item five on our agenda, nomination and election of a new water quality control commission chair. Uh, just for the record, I am not available for that position. And I would like now to open up nominations for the position of uh, commission chair. Would any of the commissioners like to nominate? An individual. Uh, Mr. Chair, this is Commissioner Thompson. I'd like to nominate Larry Dominguez. Thank you. I think before we go through a voting process, Larry, you've had such a wonderful record on this uh, committee and you have, or commission, and you have put in a lot of hard years. Uh, is that some, a nomination that you would accept? Uh, thank you, Mr. Vice Chair and uh, Commissioner Thompson. I'm flattered by the nomination. Um, uh, let me, lay it out this way, having, having previously served as vice chair and chair, I realize that the time commitment that it takes to do the job properly. And at this point in time with my other workloads here to department, I would uh, need to decline just do from uh, time commitment standpoint. Thank you, Mr. Dominguez. Do we have, uh, can we open up the floor for additional nominations? Mr. Sanchez, if we receive no further nominations, what occurs here? Quite frankly, uh, Vice Chair Cipher, I don't know. Um, the The statute calls for, for the commission to appoint a chair, uh, so it's really a statutory duty. Yes, Mr. Dominguez. Um, Mr. Vice Chair, um, just a suggestion. Um, 
and it's not to mean to kick the can down the road, but uh, the the timing of this is is somewhat a little bit awkward with the with having a number of board members or commission members that either may or may not be reappointed by a uh, re-election of the governor. And also, um, well, with that said, uh, my suggestion may be that we postpone this hiding item till the, uh, the next commission meeting, which uh, if we do not meet in February or March would be April. And um, that you get us through today's meeting and then we reschedule it as an agenda item for the, the next commission meeting. And hopefully by that point in time, um, the slate of commissioners will be a little bit more solid, but that's strictly a suggestion from my standpoint. Yeah, I, I think that that is uh, a, a good suggestion. However, I think I want to give it just one more quick try if somebody uh, would like to make a nomination, I would accept that uh, now. Mr. Thompson. Commissioner, Commissioner Thompson, I'd nominate uh, Bill Brancard. Okay. Mr. Brancard, is that something you would consider? Uh, Mr. Chair, you know, um, <clears throat> I'm too old for this. And uh, <laughs> besides, uh, uh, you know, retirement is very near in the future. So, and I would not be a good person to be for the job, so I have to decline. Okay. Well, I have to say you've been impressive to me, and I think you'd be an awesome person for the job if, if uh, you had the availability. But I, I sympathize with with your thoughts. I, I, uh, I have the same problems. So thank you for your uh, consideration. Uh, well, I I guess I would say any last comments or suggestions on this um if if i hear none we will move forward with, by uh, placing this on the next agenda in april just give you a quick moment any nominations hearing none uh pam i guess we'll have this on the next uh, agenda, uh, and I suppose that's April. Uh, in our next meeting, we'll we'll be able to discuss, uh, or at the end of this meeting, we'll discuss uh, the schedule. But I, I believe that'll be April. Councilor Sanchez, thank you, Vice Chair Seifer. I think procedurally, procedurally, what would be in order is for you to entertain a motion to postpone that agenda item, and I distinguish postpone from table because postpone would then put it on the next. Uh, Commission uh, agenda meeting agenda. Okay. So I do. I would suggest if I could, count, uh, Vice Chair, that you entertain a motion to postpone. Okay. And it, uh, it, require, it requires item a motion to, to enable that. Is that correct? It, that's correct. Okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Vice Chair. Uh, given that, I would make a motion that we table this agenda item until the next uh, commission meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I second that, but I move to amend the motion to postpone. I believe that's what Council Sanchez wanted. Very good. You're good with that friendly amendment, Larry? Yes. yes. Councilor or Commissioner. Um, very good. Uh, then uh, let's do a roll call on that. We have our first and second. Okay. Commissioner Brankert, how do you vote? Yes. Commissioner Condelaria? Yes. Commissioner Dominguez? 
Yes. Commissioner Fry. Yes. Commissioner McWilliams. Yes. Commissioner Patton. Uh, Commissioner Thompson. Yes. Commissioner Velasquez. Yes. Commissioner Vigil. Yes. Commissioner Zemlick. Yes. <laughs> Vice Chair Cipher. Yes. The motion passes, Vice Chair. Thank you. That brings us to item six on our agenda. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Michael uh, Chacon and Michael's uh, appointment by uh, James Kinney, our cabinet, the cabinet secretary uh, is uh, based on some wonderful and uh, awesome credentials. Uh, Mr. Chacon uh, has a background in uh, geology and decades of experience in the environmental and water quality issues in New Mexico. He's uh, served for uh, 17 years, uh, over 17 years in program management, and tribal and environmental cultural preservation. Um, and I know that you all received his resume in the packet. I hope you take a moment to read it. It is impressive. And we're grateful to have you, Michael. Thank you, Vice Chair Cipher. Good morning, all. My name is Michael Chacon. I'm the NMED Science Coordinator in the Office of Strategic Initiatives. And I appreciate this opportunity very much. Uh, a little bit of background. I come from two longtime New Mexico families, graduate of New Mexico State in Geology. And uh, to reiterate, I have environmental experience with uh, New Mexico Environment Department, two different places as waste, strategic initiatives, been in private industry, been with uh, Pueblo de San Alfonso two different times, New Mexico Department of Military Affairs, Environmental Office, and I really have a deep-seated respect with WTCC, and I'll do my best to contribute to the important work done by the council. So thank everyone very much, and uh, please accept my apology for the typo on my resume. My current position actually started in 2022, not 2002. So I hate to start off with an apology, but uh, my error and uh, look, looking forward very much. Thank you so much, everyone. Michael, welcome aboard. And again, thank you. Um, any questions of Michael? I hate to do that to you, Michael, but it is kind of fun. Anybody have a question they'd like of, to ask of Michael? Thank you. Let's go to item seven on our agenda, utility operators certification advisory board member appointments. Uh, Jen Olson, are you available to uh, speak with us? Yes, I am, Vice Chair. Great. Proceed. Thank you. Um, I'm Jennifer Olson with the New Mexico Environment Department. Um, as a agency representative here today, I've got Eric Hall. Um, he's a manager of the utility operator certification program. We're before you today to request the reappointment of three members of the utility operator certification advisory board pursuant to New Mexico statute 61-33-4C. The commission shall appoint a seven member board from certified operators to function with the commission to establish qualifications of operators classify public water supply systems and public wastewater facilities, adopt rules and advise the, the department on the administration of the Utility Operator Certification Act. Um, there's no specific process in the statute or the regulations regarding the appointment of the board members, but I understand that the practice that we're um, applying today is what we've used as past practice for the board to consider the appointment and approval of the nominees that we're gonna present to you today. Um, notice was given to the public through the publicly available um, agenda. I will note too that pursuant to statute 61-33-4C, that two board members selected by the board, the, the utility um, operators certification board, um, can sit as commission members for the purpose of this vote. So we are requesting that two members of the Utility Operator Certification Advisory Board that should sit with the commission today for this vote are Joe Bailey 
and Rick Mitchell, who are both um, present and available by video and audio. Um, is that acceptable to the commission? Yes, I've talked with uh, Councillor Sanchez and uh, he agrees that is the proper protocol. Okay, thank you, Vice Chair. Um, the, th the three members that we are asking you to appoint are actually current members of the board and have been serving in that capacity already. They're successful and valued members of the board um, and they've already been approved with by a, by a prior um, in during a prior hearing in front of the commission. The names of the three operators that we're asking you to appoint, and I believe that they're all present today, are Kathy Eisen, Ivan Abel, and Richard Graham. We have provided resumes um, to the Office of Public Facilitation. I believe that Ms. Jones provided those to you in your packets um, for today. Is that correct, Ms. Jones? Yes, it is. Okay, right. Thank you so much. Um, as the manager of the the board, um, Eric Hall attends all the board meetings and with the commission's permission, I would like to ask Mr. Hall to address the commission directly regarding the three nominations and their qualifications for appointment. That would be wonderful. I would also like to make clear that indeed, uh, Ms. Jones did provide all those resumes and I think everybody's had sufficient time to to review those. So we appreciate that. Yes, please proceed. Thank you. Um, Mr. Hall. Yes, good morning, Vice Chair Scytho and Commissioners. I would like to introduce our nominees for the board positions. Uh, first is Mr. Dale Graham. Mr. Graham has 40 years experience in water and wastewater utilities and is retired from Rio Dosa Downs. He holds a current and valid level four certification in water and a level two in wastewater. Mr. Graham has served on the utility operator certification board for 15 years. Next, this is, and I think um, Dale is here with us. Um, next is Ms. Kathy Eisen. Ms. Kathy Eisen has 28 years experience in the water and wastewater utility and is managing and operating Nogal system. She also owns Walking Water Consulting. Ms. Eisen holds a current and valid level four in water and level four in wastewater and has served on the Utility Operator Certification Advisory Board for 14 years, serving several years as a chairperson. Kathy is with us as well. Last is Mr. Ivan Abel. Mr. Abel has 30 years plus experience in the water and wastewater utility field. Mr. Abel works for the city of Carlsbad and holds a current and valid water supply level one certification and is preparing to sit for his level four exams. Mr. Abel has served on the utility operator certification advisory board for 30 years. All three nominees meet the qualifications for advisory board membership, and all three have expressed a desire to remain on the utility operator certification board. I thank you for your time and consideration. Thank you, Mr. Hall. Um, May I continue? Please. Thank you. Uh, pursuant to New Mexico Code 20.7.4.29D, if the commission approves the appointment of these members, they are supposed to sit for three year terms, but we were also supposed to have this meeting as the first meeting after the fiscal year. Obviously, we're, we're not at that place right now. So we're asking that the terms for these three members extend to June 30th, 2025 to be consistent with the regulation on that issue. Um, and with that, um, I would ask um, that the commission seek any public comment that there may be, take a vote on this issue, and I will be happy to submit a written order for the commission's um, review and execution upon completion of, of the vote. Okay, thank you very much. What I think I'd like to do at this point is, first of all, ask Councillor Sanchez if we if we can go ahead and do this as as presented um, in one motion for all three. Uh, it, it does not take three separate motions, correct? That's correct, Vice Chair Cipher. Okay, and then um, so I guess at this time I would accept uh, a uh, a motion uh, for these three appointments. Yes, Commissioner Brankard. 
Uh, Mr. Vice Chair, I move that we appoint Kathy Eisen, Dale Graham, Ivan Abel to the Utility Operators Certification Board. For a term of three years beginning June 2023. That works for me. Okay. Does that uh, address the issues that you had? Um, Actually, if I can address the commission for just a second, we're actually, it's sort of a, a backdating of the appointments is the best way to put it. We're actually asking for the extension of the terms through June 30th, 2025, which is really two okay. and a half years. Okay. Okay. Very good. Do you mind that friendly, friendly amendment, counselor or commissioner? That's fine with me. Okay, great. We need a second. Mr. 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 Is, uh, second. Okay, great. Uh, Mr. Sanchez, did you have a comment? I, I thought I heard his voice. Okay. No, I, I, I made no comment. Thank you. Okay. With that, uh, Pam, we're ready for a vote. Could you do roll call, please? Pam? Making noise. Okay. Pam, are you there? Yes, we're here. I'm I'm sorry, I had to step into another computer. I'm not sure what's happening on mine. So, um, so you can hear the beeping. Can you hear me from uh, Mr. Shakili? We, we can. We're ready for a roll call on okay. the... Uh, Commissioner Branker, how do you vote? Yes. And Commissioner Condelaria? Yes. Commissioner Chacon? Yes. Commissioner Fry? Yes. Commissioner Dominguez? Yes. Commissioner McWilliams? Yes. Commissioner Patton? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Thompson? Yes. Commissioner Velasquez? Yes. Thank you. Commissioner Vigil? Yes. Commissioner Zemlick? Yes. Mr. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Mitchell? Yes. Vice Chair Cipher? Yes. 